Russell Crowe, I thought of right away when I finished writing the script. I knew I wanted a, just a consummate actor, somebody who could be an everyman. Russell read the script, very quickly responded to it. He had been working on Robin Hood for quite a long time. It's a long shoot, very difficult. He was thinking of taking time off. The script came to him. We were under a schedule that we wanted to shoot at a certain time. It's going to get cold and snowy. Paul went over to London, met with Russell. You know, we had a conversation in London, and I think we talked for about an hour and a half or two hours, and, and we didn't agree on anything that we'd discussed. And uh, that's usually a pretty good indicator. That's probably the person I'm going to work with. <laughs> Brian Dennehy plays his father. Wonderful actor, but I knew he wasn't going to say no because he was in six or seven scenes but had, I think, two lines, three lines in the entire movie. So no actor is going to do that. But I sent it to him nonetheless and begged. And he said, oh, don't have to beg. Of course I'll do it. Love to do it. Went, wow, cool. And of course, Russell Crowe is one of the best actors in the world. And I really learned in the last couple of weeks just how good he is. I just stupidly thought that the people who loved her would actually believe she's innocent. My mistake. Stop this. His problems become your problems. His triumphs become your triumphs. His successes, his failures always become the audience's. And that's what acting is. Not only communicate to people in the audience what it is that he's going through, but to make you realize as an audience member that those are the same things that you have to deal with. So he has that everyman quality. And yet, of course, he's a tremendous communicator, an artist, great skill. It's still been a, a real awakening to work with him. It's a whole different thing when the guy's in the same room with you. The father in the French film was one of the great characters in the film. He says, I think, two words in the film, in the French film. And he says, not much more than two words in this film. So it had, again, be somebody who could communicate with very few words and who would be willing to basically be in scene after scene in which they don't speak, but they have to act a storm. It's interesting to play, you know, without actually having the words to do it with. One of the reasons I liked this, the script, right, not that I would have said no anyway, but one of the reasons I liked it was it was such a nonverbal part, you know. Normally we don't do that in this country. And of course I'd work on stage all the time, which requires me to speak. And he brings such a moral authority to this character. He, he really embodies this, this other generation that, uh, you know, they're the tough guys, the guys who could pull this off, and yet who secretly admire their sons who have gone on and, and done things that they would be afraid to do. One of the biggest decisions was how to, to cast the role of Damon, who is one scene but it's, uh, it's a character that really carries the weight of the movie. And he, he Russell has to, Russell's character, John, has to come to him, and he has to tell him what you have to do, both physically and morally, uh, to, to pull something like this off, and how you have to change yourself into someone who could commit these kinds of crimes. You, you escaped from jail seven times. Ideally, it would be Liam Neeson, because he has that gravitas and he has that humor and he has that that authority one of our most skilled actors said, well it's one scene maybe he'll do I, I don't know so I called Michael Michael said he's shooting another movie Paul he's, he's off in Vancouver he's doing uh, an entirely other film I went, oh well that's that's a shame but I called him anyways <laughs> and he said well I've got a couple of days off next week Paul if I could do it then how long will it take I said I can shoot it in one day it's five pages I could do it in one day he went oh, okay and so he hopped on a plane. Everybody say good morning, Leo. Good morning. Did the scene beautifully. Got what you need. And he came in, he had a, he had a sort of, uh, he wanted to do something with his, with a scar on his face. He wanted to do something with an accent. He had developed this character. He knew what he had done. He would know how he, how he had already broken out of jail. He knew what his crimes were before he sat down that day to, to, do, to work for us for one day. He was completely prepared. He had a history for this guy. You know, and so the, the moment he spoke these words, the, 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 this was a living, breathing character. It wasn't a, you know, a single character for a day. This is what Liam does, and I'm sure he does it for every role he acts in. I gave myself up. I couldn't take wondering when someone was going to come through the bedroom door. So, what do you have? 
have in your pocket? Having, you know, Russell and then Brian Dennehy and then Liam Neeson and, you know, these guys are all bringing their A, they bring their A game naturally to everything they do and it just raises the whole caliber of the movie. There's two actors in a room doing a scene, they're dancing. It's a great dance and if, a, if it's good material, the dance is all the better. That's been a, a fun thing for me that every week or so, somebody new comes along and I get to do a scene with somebody who I respect and whose work I enjoy, so, you know. I mean, having an actor like Liam Neeson or Brian Dennehy on the set, and then Russell Crowe walks on, he brings his A-game. <laughs> now, Russell's never a lazy actor. He always you know, does good work. But you put him up against a, an actor of that quality, and it's just, it's just wonderful to see. It's just that you know, the sparks just come back and forth. You, you, you see the, the nuance and, the, and, and sort of the, the gamesmanship and the, the true craft that they share, and it's just lovely to see. And a lot depends on if the prisons in the country or the city. City. Where are you from? <laughs>